Hello and welcome to another edition of Fire Safe. I'm your Assistant Chief Fire Marshal Kelly Eggers and today we are going to talk about ventilation as it relates to structure fires. Firefighters will regularly use ventilation tactics at structure fires to systematically remove heat, smoke and fire gases from the structure. When done correctly, the tactic can greatly improve conditions inside for firefighters and increase the survival time for the occupants. When done incorrectly, the exact opposite can happen. There are two types of ventilation used during structural firefighting operations, vertical and horizontal. Situational awareness will help officers determine the most appropriate tactic to use at that time. Ideally, vertical ventilation directly above the seat of the fire offers significant relief by removing the smoke and superheated gases. Heated elements will automatically rise at the same time the fire inside will increase the pressure inside the structure. This increased pressure will find the path of least resistance attempting to equalize. Natural ventilation in occupied structures allows that fresh air to enter at lower level openings. As the air warms, it will rise and exit an opening located at the highest point in the structure. Vertical ventilation effectively assists this natural ventilation process, allowing for the controlled removal of smoke and superheated gases, while at the same time reducing the horizontal spread of the fire beyond the area of origin. Horizontal ventilation involves the opening of windows or doors of a structure. This technique benefits firefighters by allowing for a rapid fire attack. It will also reduce the heat and smoke in the area of fire origin, but the appropriate window or door must be selected and a charge hose line needs to be in place for an immediate fire attack. A coordinated attack is vitally important because once a window or door has been opened, smoke and the superheated gases will be drawn toward that new opening. The path smoke and gases follow will eventually be the path of fire extension if ignition temperature is reached. Fire extension is a concern for firefighters and occupants alike. However, smoke inhalation is responsible for the majority of fire fatalities, not burns. Smoke can rapidly overcome occupants that are not alerted or occupants that are unable to exit the structure in a timely manner due to age, injury, disability, or any other factor that would delay escape. Opening the wrong window or opening multiple windows can be catastrophic for the occupants also extremely dangerous for the individual breaching the windows. We are asking the community to think twice before they arbitrarily start knocking out windows. Call 911 and leave the work to the professionals. Remember, you should always have an evacuation plan uh, if a fire should break out with two ways out. If you can remember this, shutting the door behind you helps prevent the spread of fire. Thank you very much. We appreciate your time today. And as always, be fire safe.